You spent years accumulating cash, insisting you had your elephant gun ready. The March 2020 listed equity sell-off came with promises from the U.S. government that they would do what it takes, yet you sat on your hands. Please help me understand what I missed. Not quite the last part. What was the final question? Just please help me understand what I missed. Uh, why, why didn't you use more of the cash at hand? Oh, well, we, we have about, as I, our cash on hand has been about 15% of our, our values of our businesses. And uh, that's, that's a healthy chunk. And I'd say it'll never get below $20 billion, but we're, we're going to raise that number because it's just the size and importance of Berkshire. It, it, uh, but we... We, uh, we could have deployed uh, 50 or 75 billion uh, and right before the Fed Act. I mean, we hit a point uh, where the calls were, two calls came in, uh, but there was two or three days, I mean, nothing could happen. I mean, the, the, when, when Jay Powell acted as he did, that was incredibly important. I mean, I shouldn't say the Fed acted as they did, but they they moved with speed and a decisiveness on March 23rd that changed the situation where the economy had stopped. The government bond market was even sun, sun, disrupted. Berkshire Hathaway probably could not have gone out with a debt offering uh, the day before. Uh, there was... Uh, didn't get a lot of publicity time, but there was a run on money market funds, a very substantial run. And uh, if you look at the numbers, daily numbers on that, it was a repeat of September 2008. And this time, I give great credit to what Bernanke and Paulson did, but this time, the Fed knew that saying whatever it takes and saying it and demonstrating it, which they did on March 23rd, they took a market where Berkshire couldn't sell bonds on the day before and turned it into one where Carnival Cruise Lines or somebody could sell it to a day or two later. It, and there was, you know, it's record issuance of corporate debt and uh, companies losing money, companies who were closed, whatever. It, 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 was, it was the most dramatic move that you can imagine. And, and at the time, as I remember the chairman saying, uh, you know, how about a little help on the on the fiscal front, and then Congress acted very, very big again. In 2008 and 2009, they argued about, you know, we don't want to give any money to those dirty banks and all that sort of thing. But this time, there, there really wasn't anybody to blame. So uh, they, had, they saw what was necessary, and Congress responded. So you had fiscal and monetary policy that responded in a way that was incredible, and it did the job. And it did, a, it did. I think it did a better job than either the Fed or the Treasury or anybody expected. I mean, this this economy right now is 85 percent of it is is running in super high gear, and uh, people can't, uh, you know. And and you're seeing some inflation and all of that. It, it it's responded in an incredible way, and we learned something out of 2008 and nine, and then we applied. It. But that, I don't think it was a sure thing that would happen. And the one thing about Berkshire is we never, do, we never want, we, we don't want to depend on anybody. We're not a bank. We can't go to the Federal Reserve if we need money. And we've got to, we've got to be sure that under any circumstances, any circumstances, we can't solve nuclear war and maybe we can't, you know. There, but you know, Brian Dubois, if you remember, and the streetcar named Desire, said, I depend on the kindness of strangers. You can't depend on the kindness of your friends if things really stop. I mean, I've seen that in several different places. And we were, start, we, we were seeing it on March, the middle of March. Everybody was drawing down their credit lines. The banks did not expect that. They, they just weren't sure they were going to be able to draw it on their credit lines 10 days later. And so they just drew them down, and they would, took the money out of mutual money market funds. We got very prompt. I give great credit on both the monetary and fiscal side of what was done, but I didn't think it was a sure thing that would happen, and I didn't know how it would be implemented. And it's, it's worked. I think it's worked better than just about anybody has expected. Uh, and I think, well, you're seeing it now. You know, Charlie's got some views on this too, so we, we shouldn't leave him out of it. Well. 
it's crazy to think anybody's going to be smart enough to husband money and then just come out on the bottom tick in some crazy crisis and spend it all. There always is some person that does that by accident. But that's too tough a standard. Anybody expects that of Berkshire Hathaway is out of his mind. Yeah, Charlie and, Charlie and I never were very good at dancing, but we really can't do that dance. <laughs> no, no, we can't. And that, by the way, almost nobody else can either. Not with tens of billions no. or hundreds of billions. But it's worked out. Well, I, we forgot to show one of the financial sides, actually, if you go back to the, the balance sheet. But we, uh, we did buy in in the first. Uh, you'll see the shares outstanding if we go back to, to uh, what is it, E3? The E2. E2. <laughs> You look slide. Huh? E two. Yeah. Pardon me. I think it's E two. It? Well, the balance sheet. Yeah, there, there, there. It shows the shares outstanding at the bottom, and we have, we have, uh, we spent about twenty five billion in the first quarter, and more money since. And we, it's the best thing. We we can't buy companies as cheap as we can buy our own, and we can't buy stocks as cheap as we can buy our own. So. Uh, uh, and we've been able to do that with a fair amount of money. But looking back, I, I mean, if you, uh, you know, there, definitely we could have done better things. <laughs> we, we would have sold the, we would have sold airlines and cut back on banks regardless whether we should have bought something else at the same time is another question. Mm -hmm.